classic symptoms when the blood sugar really gets high would be basically what? Well, if it gets up in the 200 to 300 range, really, I remember 100 is the target. But if it gets up in the two or 300 range, people notice they oftentimes are getting real thirsty and they're putting out lots of urine. They feel tired and their vision's real blurry and just don't feel well. And know something's wrong right there. When Typically you know something's so. wrong, go see your doctor. It's a pretty routine test, isn't it? It's a routine blood sugar. Uh, yes, blood sugar testing is very easy. In fact, so many people now have friends or relatives that have diabetes, they could easily actually do a finger stick check on their own at home. Without seeing the doctor? Without even seeing the doctor. Huh? Uh, yeah. How is the diagnosis of diabetes made? Officially, there are several different criteria for confirming a diagnosis. Uh, you can have a blood sugar of 200 and symptoms, that's all you need. Or you can have reproducible blood sugar elevations in the 126 and above range. Or the older way is with a glucose tolerance test where you actually draw sugar and then you drink Cairo syrup uh, and <laughs> see how, your, how high the sugar goes and how long it stays high. The newest approved diagnostic test is a hemoglobin A1C now, or hemoglobin. sugar hemoglobin. Sugar hemoglobin, mm -hmm. hemoglobin A1C. Tell me what that is because that's sort of the new buzzword in blood sugar control and diagnosis of diabetes. Tell me about it. Well, it's been a, a test that's been around for many, many years. We use it routinely to follow our patients with diagnosed diabetes to see how well their sugar is doing. It, it, the, in brief, sugar attaches to protein molecules all over the body constantly and the higher the sugar is, the more sugar gets attached to that protein. Well, hemoglobin is in the red blood cells, it's a protein, and they're circulating around, and so the higher the sugar, the more sugar gets on that protein, and you can test that, you don't have to biopsy people, you can just draw a blood test. 